Somebody needs your help! Somebody needs my help? Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Good News from Around the World. Today we're going to focus on superheroes. Some that you've heard of from your childhood, others you've never heard of before. So let's get started. A seven-year-old boy named Alex recently had his dreams come true. He was in need of a prosthetic arm, and who better to deliver that arm than Iron Man himself? That's right, Tony Stark hand-delivered a prosthetic arm replicating the Iron Man arm. Alex was able to put it on and actually control the movement of the arm. And it came in a metal briefcase that said Stark Industries on it. At a local children's hospital, a team of window washers wanted to brighten the spirits of the kids inside the hospital. So they dressed up like Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, and were washing the windows. So the kids on the inside looked outside and saw Spider-Man washing their window, or Batman coming down a line. How incredible is that to see your hero right outside your window? In Tokyo, there's a man who dresses up as a green Power Ranger and helps people in the subways. Now, he doesn't fight crime, but he's just a good Samaritan and he wants to dress up as a Power Ranger. Why not? If there's a woman with a baby carriage, he helps carry the carriage down the stairs. If there's elderly that need help up the stairs, he's gonna help them up the stairs. Now, he's been doing this for months in his spare time, and already he has inquiries for some people who want to be a pink ranger and a red ranger. On the topic of trains, there's a man who dresses up in an all red costume and calls himself Justice. Now what Justice does is he boards trains and makes sure that elderly people get the proper seats that they need, and if someone needs to be booted out of their seat, Justice is going to be there to boot them out. You've heard of Spider-Man, but have you heard of Birmingham? Birmingham is a guy who dresses like Spider-Man and goes out at night, instead of fighting crime, he buys sandwiches and feeds the homeless. He'll go to corner stores and grocery stores and get a big bag full of sandwiches and drinks and hand them out to people that are living on the streets. He's also been known to hand out snacks and pizzas and solve the odd crime here or there by calling the police. Where does Batman sleep at night? In Brampton, Ontario. There's a guy who dresses from head to toe like Batman and actually converted his car to be the Batmobile. I've seen it myself. I was driving down the road and I see the Batmobile come at me and I look and friggin Batman was in the car. And then he gets out and just walks around like, like nothing's going on. Just an everyday outfit. Just Batman going for a hike, watching the birds, no big deal. And he actually solves crimes. He was in a newspaper recently where he saw a crime being committed, stopped the guys, and then called the cops and had them arrested. Okay, this next story blew my mind. So if you want to be a superhero, you actually can. There's a website called Real Life Superheroes where you can actually become a superhero. There's a bunch of people signed up and they actually go out and they fight crime or they help the homeless or they help people overseas. Whatever they can do, they're just good Samaritans and they want to go out and they want to make a difference. This is exactly like kick-ass. It's incredible. Some of these local superheroes are Mr. Extreme, Nyx, Night Vigil, Regency, and Civitron. People actually going out and doing something. If you are watching this and you want to go out and you want to be a superhero, do it. I also want to know, if you were a superhero, what would your superhero name be? Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like the superheroes, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week for some more good news.